Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to No McDonald Coronavirus Part 2. I didn't realize there are two parts, so today that's what I'm going to be reacting to. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. I don't want to alarm anybody at all, but I could uh, sneeze on you. <laughs> And it would be the equivalent of a, like a nine millimeter. <laughs> you know. I want to die. I don't know this medical fucking gobbledygook. You know, I can't understand it. I'm not a fucking doctor. But he said I'm more virus than host. <laughs> Who knows what these guys mean? With all their big words. <laughs> Who knew it was going to end this way? I thought it was going to be a fucking uh, big uh, iceberg or something. <laughs> it's kind of fun for a while. It's like, oh, the oceans will rise in a big iceberg. Oh, god damn. Not like your kid. <coughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit and blood. Oh. I got to phone 911. I got the coronavirus. Don't come here. Yeah. <laughs> 14 days. Uh, you can't have bad thoughts. You know, you gotta have positive feelings because that, uh, those don't work either. <laughs> Turns out doctors now realize that uh, thinking positively about something doesn't fucking help at all. Well, anyway. Because the deadly virus has no idea you feel real positive. <laughs> they feel pretty positive too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have a cure for them. They obviously have a cure for us. <laughs> oh, I feel something. <laughs> it's only the virus twisting around my brain stem. <laughs> I think it's the... feel my brain stem a little liquefying. Oh, well. <laughs> Nobody said it'd be a rose garden, you know. True. But they actually did this live on when we were listening to the radio. They were talking about the South by Southwest. And they said, well, there's been a cancellation at South by Southwest. This band, oh, the whole thing's canceled. That's what the guy says. And the guy hands him another thing. Ah! South by Southwest has been canceled, the entire thing. Yeah. And the direction south. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> who knows, you know? I mean, who knows how you're going to die? I mean, we all know now. But <laughs> think back a week ago. Think back a week ago. Yeah. I love back a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Moving way too fast. But you gotta be prepared, you know what I mean, in this year of life for any eventuality. And uh, that means being prepared. I'm not talking about buy a can of uh, corn. corn. <laughs> that's only uh, cosmetic. I'm talking about having a whole room that's locked and filled with firearms. <laughs> and you gotta be prepared, you know what I mean? I mean, uh. Isn't this zombie invasion? Listen, I never thought I'd say this in my life, but I'd shoot my son in the fucking belly. <laughs> <laughs> if he had a sneeze or anything. <laughs> I mean, he's a great kid, I love him, but. He's never been on the TV, you know? <laughs> so, that was No McDonald Coronavirus Part 2. Which, actually, to be honest, uh, I wish it was just one part, so it would have been more enjoyable to see the whole bit in one hit. But, obviously, people love chopping up bits, you know what I mean? I just can't believe it. But, as uh, expected of Norm, it was funny as hell. And it was so true, like... Uh, a sneeze is equivalent to a 9mm uh, last year. Considering lo lockdown, if you didn't have a mask on, you could be penalised quite a lot. Like in UK, you could you can't travel, you can't get on the bus, you can't go into the stores. And even if you do, people glare at you. But to be honest, that was for public safety, so I've got no issue with that. But yeah, the whole analogy 
Well, the idea that a sneeze can kill a person is equivalent to a 9mm going off. <laughs> and the last joke, I'll shoot my son in the belly, like, that was funny as hell. I didn't expect him to say this, but it was funny. It was definitely funny. And I really did enjoy it. And I hope you guys did too. If you did, like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys next time.